Still, you cling pathetically to life. It seems only right that I should have the joy of dealing the killing blow myself. Now come, show me how beautifully you die. to overcome the wards of sorcery that protect me. It matters not. Come, dash yourselves on the unfeeling shores of my might.
You have done well to defeat me. But whilst there is light, so too must there be darkness. I see that which is to come. Another shall rise and take my place. The omens are already there. Open your eyes. And when he comes, you will be powerless to protect your craven kind, for you will be long dead. <laughs>
Silence in the royal chamber! News of thy deeds hath reached us, and we have eagerly awaited thy coming. Thou hast done well indeed in smiting dread Zoma, lord of the underworld. That thou art returned to us unharmed is a gift for which we give thanks unto the Almighty. Morning hath broken on our kingdom at last, and all is thanks to thine earnest efforts. Though it seemeth that dread Zoma's demise hath sealed the doorway between our realm and thine own. Alifgard must now take its first steps as a world in its own right. It must emerge, blinking into the dawn of its becoming. All is thanks to thee and thy companions. Thou art a hero without equal. I do hereby bestow upon thee our kingdom's highest honour, the title of Erdrick, which meaneth dwelling land in the ancient tongue, a name befitting the land's chosen hero. Thou shalt be known to all. The story of Erdrick's deeds shall take its place amongst the legends of our realm and shall ring down through the ages.
Your Majesty. Fear not, for I will see that thine offspring grows into a fine leader of the land. I promise, nay, I swear upon my name, the name of...